when it rains it pours doesn't it guys so i thought the uh no i didn't think i didn't think the overheating problem was solved i was just waiting for it to happen again and it just did now i don't know what triggers it or what doesn't because it'll overheat once and then it won't do it for like a couple days and then all of a sudden it'll do it again so so i was gonna look at it this weekend i just actually haven't made it to the weekend it is thursday um i do work friday and saturday so after work saturday i was gonna look at it but you know this thing doesn't want to wait for me this is what we got so far it's actually leaking let me see if i can turn this light on yep see that so it's leaking from there um again not a mechanic so i don't know what's going on it's also leaking from another spot um that i cannot see i don't know if it's just running that way or whatever um but here we are again on the side of the road with a uh overheating problem that we need to adjust or address i'm sorry that we need to address now i've noticed that sometimes the fan doesn't kick in so maybe that's a problem but i wouldn't know right because every time I check it, it's running. Thermostat? I don't know. Once the, atten the attention, it just wants the attention ASAP. And well, man, cut me some slack. But anyway, look, here we are outside of a school. Fun fact, I just found out that you can purchase schools and live in them. Obviously, they gotta be abandoned or not in use. Uh, but I think that would be a lot of fun and apparently it's a lot cheaper than getting a house Anyways back to the truck. Yeah, so here we are on the side of the road. Uh, we do have a half of a gallon of water from last time um, So once this gets a little colder I'll definitely uh, dump that half a gallon in the uh, radiator and then well it, it should be good because it's it's weird i don't know as soon as it gets cold and i put water on it or right now i'm using water because i'm not going to waste money on um on coolant um it, it like runs fine so i don't know what's wrong with it to be honest again i don't know if it's a thermostat or you know that it's starting to go bad i don't remember if i changed it last year or not uh, but that is one thing that I'm going to be checking into, uh, looking into, uh, changing the thermostat and see how that is. Maybe there's a leak. Maybe I got a crack radiator or something. I don't think so though because it only leaks from there once it gets like really, really overheated. So, I don't know. I think it's just like a thermostat or something. Um, I'm so glad I didn't get on the highway. Uh, I got on the access road and then I was like, uh, I'm not going to make it to the gas station. So I'm just going to pull over here in this school <laughs> and put in some knowledge. Um, but anyways, uh, let me let me give it a few minutes. Let it cool off. I'm going to open the radiator and then dump some water in there. So there it is. Look, no pressure, no water, no nothing. Obviously, it already dumped all of it underneath the truck, right? So that would be one of the reasons I can't you can't even see so why am I wasting your time so that would be one of the reasons of why <laughs> it got overheated but then again like I said I don't know why it overheats sometimes and sometimes it doesn't let me grab this beautiful half a gallon which is not gonna do anything at all because last time I needed water I put three of this ones as you guys remember from the previous blog when we did the uh, alignment on this thing Anyways, let me dump this in there and then uh, I guess make it or try to make it to the gas station. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Yes, another day. Like all these blocks. We got a couple days until we uh, assess problems, issues, concerns, whatever. Today, there you go. Today we're gonna assess the overheating problem 
on the OBS. Now, um, we might be able to fix it. If we don't, then uh, we're just gonna try it again. Um, anyways, real quick, have you gotten your stickers yet? Come on, man. Come on now. Don't don't snooze on them. Um, go ahead on my social medias. Whether it's uh, it's usually um, Instagram. There you go. Um, go to my social media. Send me a DM. Let me know how many you want. Uh, send me your address, and then I'll give you the info on how to purchase these beautiful stickers. Uh, so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna try to fix the overheating issue on the OBS. Um, I think. I don't know. Um, we're going to start with the thermostat. Uh, as you guys know, or if you don't know, uh, it's a pretty easy, quick job. So we're going to go ahead and take it off. And then we're going to head over to O'Reilly's and get another thermostat, which it shouldn't be that much. It should be only, I don't know, under $10. Um, but we'll slap it on. We'll obviously have to wait a couple days or hours uh, after driving it to see if the issue is fixed. If it's not fixed, then we're gonna move on to the next problem or the next potential issue, which um, probably be the radiator that's clogged or the clutch, you know, uh, that pumps the, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't know how to explain it, but whatever. Anyways, uh, let me pull up the truck, pull out the, um, the thermostat, go to O'Reilly's, slap it back in, and now uh, we'll see how, how it goes. OBS in the house. This garage is a mess. It's so nasty, so I'm, I'm sorry for that. But, uh, all right. Oh, we get, <laughs> let me see, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, we get some light, eventually, um, but anyways, so, what we're gonna do is take off this hose, um, there's two bolts that hold that flange or whatever, I don't know how to call it, but whatever, two, uh, bolts that hold that, pull that out, the thermoset's underneath, um, then, all right, a little close-up of the bolts I was talking about. So that would be one of them, and the other one's on that side. On this side, whoa. So we're going to unclamp this hose, get those bolts out, pull it out, and change it. Should be easy. All right, so the first thing you want to do is you want to remove the um, air filter. By that, it's just going to be the one nut on top. Unscrew that. Take this hose off the side. You just literally pull it out. It's pretty easy, and then there's one underneath. Uh, after that, you should have complete access to those two bolts. All right, let's see what's in there. So, that doesn't look bad at all. Uh, so, what could it be? Because that looks brand new. All right, so now that I'm here and I've removed both of those bolts, I came to the conclusion that we got to move this uh, support bar right here. Um, that is attached to the tensioner. So we're gonna go ahead and loosen up the belt, take it off, um, then we're gonna take off the tensioner. Um, that way we can have this free and we can remove the hose bracket or whatever you call it. And then we can get to the thermostat, which again, doesn't look bad, but I don't know. If you don't know what's about to happen, uh, I don't know what to tell you. I'll tell you. So there is a crack uh, underneath the uh, drain plug, which is uh, letting all the uh, fluid out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the radiator. And, oh man, look at this stupid rusted piece of shit. Excuse my language. Um, Where did I leave it? Oh, also, we got the um, thermostat out. That looks pretty damn good. 
you know what while we're at it we might as well just change it so we're gonna go ahead and change the thermostat we're gonna change the radiator we're gonna top it off and then we should be able to go on our way wish me luck all right ladies and gentlemen we're back from o'reilly's uh old radiator new radiator i hope it's the right one honestly i didn't even open it it looked like it uh we got the thermostat and we got the uh gasket we also got some coolant so let me get it out the box put it in the truck and then hopefully get it running also honestly if you're scared about taking off the radiator off your vehicle your truck don't be super easy super fast it just does make a big mess other than that pretty chill all right basically everything's put back on the only thing i'm missing is the screw that goes over that and that's because let's see if i can get some light oh yes i can it is in there where are you my friend you were just here oh there you are it's in there all the way in there i won't focus sadly but that's where it's at yeah i'm not gonna there you go there it is you guys see it it's right there um and i don't have a magnet so what i'm gonna do is i'm probably gonna jump on the grum and uh go get a magnet everything is put back together i just gotta throw some antifreeze in here in there with some water and uh let it running for like five minutes let everything uh go through and stuff make sure there's no leaks or anything like that and i'll give you guys an update all right so we've turned on the truck um we're gonna keep an eye out for the uh temperature gauge and if uh we'll, we'll see what happens um we got the heater all the way on just for the uh thermostat to kick in we're gonna let it get hot we're gonna wait for the uh fans to kick in as well uh hopefully it's a good turnaround all right so we have a small leak on that hose right there i don't know if you guys can tell uh so we're definitely going to be changing that hose um other than that i mean it looks like it's running pretty good um we're still gonna give it a few minutes see what happens so we are definitely leaking pretty heavy over here it's basically and over here um you can tell that right there i didn't put on the clamp where it used to be uh, that is very important actually so we're gonna go ahead and adjust that after it gets cold <laughs> and then we're gonna go ahead and uh figure this one out over here because it is dropping coolant everywhere well uh so close yet so far quick update so that leak that we had on the uh, hose got taken care of what we did is we cut a piece from there and um we put it back on and on this side as y'all remember it wasn't uh put on correctly we just don't tell nobody but did a test drive and so far so good i'm gonna give it a couple minutes if i come back i'm gonna go eat if i come back and there's uh fluid on the floor i don't know i don't know we'll probably just burn the bitch um but no so far so good do it for today's video if you made it to the end of the vlog don't forget to like share subscribe and uh let me know what else we should do with the OVS. somebody's pounding i need some sounds but anyways uh again if you have made it to the end of the video make sure to like share subscribe and uh hit the little bell to get notifications of when i post next i know a couple of people tell me that i've been going crazy with the postings but i don't know i guess i'm gonna take it serious for a little bit Anyways, as it will things. Peace.
let you go 